Greetings fellow zombie slayers, Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to State of Decay 2 New Haven. Episode 3, Lay of the Land. Car is smoking. Once the workshop's done, I'll be able to build repair kits though. Very expensive, but very nice to be able to self-make repair kits. I'll also be able to scrap the melee weapons that I've been looting to turn them into parts. To be able to make things like repair kits or firecrackers or bombs or whatever. Don't forget the ally that died in the house. True. We're going back for him too. Flashbangs are good against a feral in a pinch. Yeah, they are. I would argue that um, there's a lot better tools to use against ferals, and inventory space is at a premium. Oh, there's some um, plague samples over yonder. Oh, I hear a screamer. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Nope. Get off my door. Okay. Set up an outpost. Uh, what kind of outpost? Food, meds, materials, fuel, uh, ammo. Those are the only ones I'm going to consider right now. There are specialty outposts like artillery or the landmark or whatever, but I'm not going to be able to set those up just yet. Ooh, chemicals. I like chemicals. Getting all these plague samples are also pretty awesome. Uh, the plague samples make cure, so having a nice quantity of plague samples right now makes it so that if I... I um, I get infected, I can well, cure this it. Place is certainly empty. Rather than have to, like, euthanize. Alright, Rostam, where'd you die? His body ain't even here. He might he might have turned into a zombie and, like, shuffled away. Because I am not seeing it. I don't even see the, uh, the third hostel. I'll keep looking. Could have switched houses, I suppose. This house has loot in it. Oh yeah, there you are. This might be Rostam? With his head blown off? Man, he did not deserve that. Oh, nice weapons. So there's one, I think, hostile unaccounted for. I'm not sure where they are. What about water or electric? I don't think any of the water or electrics are, um, are available for me to claim right now. They're all covered by uh, play hearts. That's why I don't have them on the list. Because I am in no position to clear a play cart. Meaning that if you voted for that, I it wouldn't be actionable. So you can supply water and power to your base through claiming... Like this water station, for instance, provides water, or where's electricity? Uh, he, this is electricity. I don't have the influence for it. It costs 2,000, and then they're also covered by plague hearts, which means I would need to clear out the plague hearts to free them up. So it's something to be done later on when I have more weapons, stronger survivors, etc. I'm going to go out on a limb and say I'm probably not going to find Rostam. I don't know where he is, but, uh... If I take out the nearest Plague Heart, this might just clear up. But yeah, I'm not going to find him, so... Set up a 
materials outpost. Copy that. I'm not entirely sure that there's even a materials outpost for me to set up, but I will look for one. I'll have to do some scouting. So let me bring this uh, car home first. So materials outposts are typically like house construction sites or other construction sites. And I'll go to... Oh, why is there a swarm right outside the base? Yo, that's just rude. Get squanched. I ain't got time for that. Nowhere for that to go. So workshop. I can make soda bombs, pipe bombs, box mines, firecrackers, crossbow bolts, um, salvage weapon remains, and then if upgraded, I will also be able to make um, like repair stuff. to pick up that conversation. So, materials outpost. Um, let me go look, let me go head over to the South Fairfield cell tower and scout around South Fairfield because there doesn't seem to be, um, there doesn't seem to be plague coverage in this area. So if there is a materials place in here, I'll be able to add that. Yeah, that's probably the best way to get a materials outpost. I'm not 100% sure there's even one available, though. But I'll try. Ooh, three screamers. That's nice. Get out of the road. I'm doing my best to sort of drive as well as I can to limit the amount of damage that I do to my vehicles until I can make repair kits, but it is challenging because these zombies are just everywhere. Another thing I could do is everywhere I go, I'll check to make sure that the trunks of vehicles don't have um, gas or repair kits or something like that. Hey, Screamer! No screaming. The cell phone towers, these radio towers, can be outposts as well, and they just reduce radio cooldowns, but because I'm through the rules that I have posted, I have a very limited amount of radio calls that I can even make. There's kind of no point to have these radio towers, because I have a lot of rules and restrictions about what kind of calls I can make. We could do a so that's an electrical outpost. outpost that is not covered by play cart. So it would be able, to, I would be able to claim that as an outpost. Um, that does cause you to have a fuel upkeep per day to keep the uh, transformers going. I wonder if that thing still works. Hey, building's occupied. Oh, I found someone. Oh, right, the lonely soldier. He's um, that's not random. What am I missing? I am missing somewhere? Because, uh, I don't have all the sites surveyed, but... Why? Well, I have no idea. Not below me. Am I the only one who feels like we're seeing more and more infestations around here? So infestations in this latest, or not latest update, but last update, uh, will spread from building to building. So they send 
hordes out. Look up. <laughs> hey, Dresden. And they'll send swarms out, and you can stop them before they spread. But I haven't been doing that, because doing other things. Alright, I don't know. Where, wherever that spot is, I don't care. Not a big deal, not finding them all. So the bootleggers are asking for my help. So this here is a materials outpost, this warehouse, but it's covered by Plague Heart. Uh, I think this warehouse has materials, but is not material income. I'll keep, I'll keep surveying. I will find a survey point kind of in the middle of a map to see if I can't uh, find a materials outpost. So my income per day is I'm minus two meds a day, minus six food a day. So I actually don't have a materials upkeep. Anyway. Time to drive on the rickety bridge. Hey, Rev. Thanks for the gifted subs. Hitting them with your door too often will tear the door off. But I make special... I don't mind you and damage to the car if I'm getting influence for it. Like in the case of a Feral or a uh, Screamer. Definitely don't hit bloaters with your car door, though. That's, uh, that's suicide. That's totally suicidal. What happens if you don't pay the up upkeep? Yes. So as Tom answered, um, the facilities break down it will cause morale problems, and you don't get the benefit of having the facility until you repair it. It's it's fairly penalizing. But the game will warn you when you're low. Hello there. Shall we discuss a no, I am not doing that. So I might not be able to find a materials outpost that I can even add. I've been driving around looking for spots that are not plague infested, but it looks like everywhere is kind of plague infested. And I'm not having a lot of luck. I'm gonna do a little bit of scavenging while I'm out here. You tried. Oh, you bit me. So the bites infect you very, very bad, as you can see. Two bites and I'd be a zombie. I thought I dodged him in time, but I didn't. I dodged the first one, but not the second time. This game does hit you with constant quest offers. Yeah, there's always something to do. You don't, you're not necessarily obligated to do them all. You can definitely ignore a lot of them. And you just pick and choose what you want to do. But that way, you're. There's, it's never a dull moment. It's actually kind of a really nice thing. So the Cash Beaumont thing is something that I can always ignore. Cash Beaumont is... It's a way to unlock, like, specialty items. He'll give you bounties, like, kill ten zombies with Molotovs or with fire. And, like, you kill ten zombies and he gives you a gun or unlocks a skin. And I won't be doing any of those because I don't really care for them. Well, here we are in Marshall. Someone better be listening, cause I'm in deep shit out here. Sorry, Tressie, I'm not coming to help you. Maybe later. I'm pretty infected. All right, I'll check. I'll check this scout scout water tower to see if um, there are any materials around. But I, after checking this scout water tower, I'm going to. 
probably give up on a materials outpost for now because I don't think there's one available that isn't covered by plague arts. I better stay on my toes while I'm in plague territory. Oh, is that a whole horde? Yeah, kind of. I think there's even a horde in that shed, too. Okay, plague hard in sight. Judy is now probably ready to go. She's cured of plague and is not tired. Don't give that screamer a chance to yell. So that electrical transformer is not covered, nor is the Bronto gas. The Bronto gas would be a fuel outpost that I could add, but you guys didn't vote for that. Yeah, that that gave me a pretty good overview of um, Western Marshall, which is nice. So, Audible, uh, what to do next? Do a quest, scavenge for supplies, or viewer suggestions. Very simple list. Is it even possible to get max morale on Ethel? Yes, absolutely it is. You need a pretty illustrious base for that, but it is entirely possible, and I do it all the time, as long as you know how to min-max. Wow, this shed sucked. Just like 14 parts or something. This car's getting a little low on fuel. I should probably refuel it at some point. Ooh, there's something in that trunk. Oh, juggernaut. And a bloater. So you can kind of bait, bait the bloaters out, where if you get close enough, they start sprinting after you. And if you peel away, they'll trip, fall, and explode. Um, okay, neighbors, I'm sorry, but I'm bringing, like, a horde onto you now. Didn't really mean to, but it just kind of happened. My car is definitely too damaged to to risk uh, fighting that, that juggernaut, so I'm not going to. No, no point in blowing this thing up again. Looks like do a quest. So I'll write it all down. Hey, how about you stay clear of plague zombies? We don't need you getting sick. And I'll be switching survivors because this dude's like two thirds plagued. Oh, I hear a plague feral nearby. Good. They're fun. He is 70 meters that way. Oh, is there another one? No, I don't think there's another one. Oh, scavenge for supplies. Pulling out ahead. All right. Yeah, I'm going to abandon the mission. It tied? Uh, heads will be a quest. Tails will be scavenge. It is tails, so I'm going to be scavenging for materials.
So I, I would say what I need most is probably building materials in order to be able to upgrade the facilities that I have. So that's what I'm going to focus on. One thing I could try is going to the watering trader to see if they have any building materials that I could just outright buy. That would cut down a lot of the effort. And I'm going to bring some things to sell to my neighbors that I'm allied with uh, in order to get uh, in more influence. So here's the items that I'm willing to part with. And I'll sell those off and, and hopefully be able to buy building materials. Looks like and the screamer's about to barf. With additional building materials, uh, I can either upgrade the comms station to get more outposts, upgrade the workshop or the infirmary for benefits as well. So first stop, wandering campers. And sell off all the junk I don't need. Did I forget the crossbow? Uh, yep, I guess I did. But I'll be swinging by the home in just a second. So we can go back for it. Hey, Amigo. You got something for me? Yeah, why not? They don't have anything I want to buy, though. But that's good influence. That brings the influence up to... Uh, 1384. Okay. No sets around, but we can't secure the place with a plague heart close by. Well, I thought there was a plague sample. There wasn't. I should be getting kind of close to being uh, heroes to get the extra max health and max stamina, which would be kind of nice to have. Do I need to place them in the med bay? I do. They do rest um, gradually without being placed in, but let me go do that too. I don't think I'm gonna get better without help. Hey, traitor, are you... A zombie just, like, walked up behind her. Man, you are really inaccurate. You should probably give me that gun of yours. Hey there, business partner. All right. Building materials. Lots and lots. There's also a utilities textbook that I'm going to buy. Uh, I'm not going to buy the craftsman textbook. Utilities is more important, in my opinion. So, yeah, let's, uh, let's buy all this stuff. Cost me a lot of influence, but... Hey there, business partner. Of course. I'll be able to upgrade our base for me? gloriously. Right. That was lucky. The uh, the three thousand currency is um, a DLC currency, and I'm not touching the DLC, so you can just effectively, completely, and utterly ignore it, as it won't ever be a factor in this series. Did I piss that feral off enough for him to chase me? Is it 66, 68? No, it's not chasing me. Yeah, it's the Daybreak Red Talon currency, and I'm not touching any of the Daybreak Red Talon stuff, so. Moot. All right, so I did just something not smart. Which is, I have a limited amount of space for materials. And when you go over your max, it can get spoiled. So I pulled out another, I pulled out a rucksack of materials so I don't go over max. Because I'm going to have you guys decide what I build. So what to upgrade? We've got the infirmary, workshop, or com command center. The command center, if upgraded, would give me an additional outpost, so I could have up to three. The infirmary, if upgraded, gives me the ability to remove injuries with medicine 
craft painkillers and has two slots for people to rest up instead of one. And then the workshop, if upgraded, allows me to craft crossbows, suppressors, uh, toolkits to repair and stuff in Molotovs. So there's the options. And Christina, thank you for the stuff. I'm on my way. Shit, they're in real trouble. Okay. Well, I would say workshop is leading pretty hard. For that, I need five circuitry. So... I'm gonna go get that. In just a second. I can't afford to let things get any more out of control, guys. Ray, I just heard that one of the groups we were supporting in Trumbull left the valley. It sounds like they're pretty angry with us. Ray, are you there? Pick up. We need to talk. So what I did just there... You'd better not be ducking my car. Oh, let me get the crossbow. What I did just is there is I gave the rucksack like that I had that didn't we didn't have space in our storage to Davy. So Davy will just be wearing it for now. I need a storage car? Yeah, I do. Absolutely. Okay. The best place to find circuitry um, is the electrical buildings. So... Fairfield power station should have some. If that doesn't, the electrical transformers up here. The electrical transformers is even closer, so I'll go there first. Because it's a little bit safer. It's not in plague territory. Okay. Updating. Not bad. Uh, that's pretty good, lady. Two tools and parts from a trunk. I'm just making sure that there's nothing else. So there's a lot of loot that isn't um, bound to outposts and the like. Oh god, there's a feral here. Where is it? It is just on my six. Alright, keep moving. Uh, so everywhere you drive, it's useful to keep it an eye out for looting opportunities that are just random items in the world. So this is where I'm hoping to get electrical circuitry. With any luck. The headlights of my car are kind of glitching through the walls here, making this room nice and light. Boo, parts. This isn't actually the transformer room, so this might not have anything. We found a place that might have what we need. Hmm. Nope. It is a bust. But if I had 2k influence, I could um, provide base wide power by claiming this outpost. So I'll have to search somewhere else. Uh, let me go up to the Southwest Fairfield Power Station. Didn't want to have to go back into town at night in plague territory, but uh, no risk, no reward.
Sledgehammer's your favorite weapon? Oh god, not mine. My favorite weapon is repeating crossbows. I'm sort of wondering if he summons a horde or not. I'm gonna kill him. Really? You're screaming at nothing now. I wasn't even nearby. Yeah, we're one step away from hoofing it. Oops. That one little love tap to the hood there. Not so good for the car. There are explosives to blow up the hearts. There's a whole bunch of types of explosives, but there's one two 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 explosives that are particularly good. And then the rest are just okay at it. Uh, the really good ones would be Willy Pete, uh, White Phosphorus Grenades, or C4. You can't make Willy Pete Grenades, but you can make C4, but you need two incredibly specialized and highly skilled survivors to be able to make C4. Which I plan on trying to get. But also C4 costs you circuitry and chemicals so sourcing up. materials to be able to make it can be tricky because circuitry is not easy to come by nope all right those electrical boxes along the side of that shed definitely should have circuitry if it doesn't uh i'll be very surprised Alright, this car is about to go boom boom, so I'm gonna hop out of it so these last two zombies don't blow it up. What, did you forget about me? Work. You know what? You don't want me to grapple you? Splat your brains. There's the search circuitry. I uh, I didn't actually take stock of whether I needed all five to make the workshop, or if I just needed some of the five. Oh no, there we go. Now I have eight, so I definitely have the materials. Twenty is the max for survivors. You mean the number of survivors you can have? No, it's way less than that. You can have like eight, I think. Without mods. Ten, maybe? I, I forget exactly. Excellent. Ooh, Davy scavenged some bullets. I am not going to fast search because there's like a swarm over in that Bronto gas. 13 is the new max if you cheese it with the red talent people, right? Otherwise, it's what, 12 or 10? Hello, Fairfield. You're looking feral. A bloater. So gross. Now that place could make a handy outpost. I fucking hate plague hearts. So much swearing. So unnecessary. That's enough looking around for now. All right, let's head back. Make that workshop.
Oh, Jesus. A jug and a hut. It's kind of like Jabba the Hut, but slightly scarier. With no, with no warning that he was there. Zero, thank you for the uh, the sub, man. Oh, I don't want to go north anytime soon. That was uh, that was sketchy. <laughs> there is so many zombies up north. All right, that should do. As soon as the current action is done, I will upgrade it. Wait, I'll also have to get Davy out of the bed because I don't have enough labor to. Um... No, I'll have enough labor once the salvage weapon remains are done. There we go. Workshop level two coming in 16 minutes. What to do next? Do a quest. So the current quest available is... Hello to all the citizens of Trumbull Valley. This is Lily Ritter well, the okay, network. there's another quest. Uh, it's to go Please meet Ray Santos, to go pillage and plunder, he hasn't been answering his radio. help out the bootleggers, or I'm do Tressy okay, Huerta's quest. Uh, scavenging would be for whatever the materials okay. that we need to most. Like right now, what we probably need most is even more building materials. Explore, I would just... Um, Poke around the map, see what other uh, what other scout points we have available. Because I certainly haven't done a lot of searching. Or viewer suggestions, and that would be left up to you. Oh man, I don't want... Doing Judy's, like, going to get building materials quest is kind of scary. Another thing that I should be doing is whenever I have guns... Uh, I should be giving the guns to the follower that is not active. Because if we have a at-home swarm, Hello. Um, the NPCs use uh, guns for free, whereas I have to spend bullets, so you can give them the best guns. It's a little cheesy, but like, their aim sucks, so having them not draw from a bullet pool is kind of nice. So now both... Um, Judy and Davy have firearms, so if we get attacked by a swarm of zombies here at home, um, they can use their guns to fight back. Another thing that I could do is have either Judy or Davy use the utilities book. So both Davy here does not have a fifth skill, as you can see. Um, I it's kind of behind the pole, but he only has four or five skills. And same with um, Judy, four or five skills. And what Utilities allows you to do uh, is... Where is that book? It allows you to do electrical or plumbing. Um, so plumbing would allow you or allow me to set up hydroponics in order to grow food super efficiently. And electrical allows you to build a solar array for your base to be able to power up your base without the use of gasoline. All right, looks like we're going to do a quest, so I'm going to pull you about what quest. So Ray Santos, uh, pillage and plunder. Bootleggers. So the bootleggers is a enclave that wants help. They make booze and they are alcoholics or Tressy. I'm not uh, not going to do the bounty broker, and I've already traded with the wandering trader. So just give you one minute to vote on that one there. And let's check how Davy is doing. You are almost recovered. He was about two-thirds infected, and he's almost back down to zero, which is good. In terms of injuries, he still has an infected bite. Judy still has the deep gouges that she had before. She really hasn't rested. And then in terms of morale, because I haven't really explained morale, there's a bunch of different things that can affect morale. So right now, our morale is a little low because there's too many infestations on the map. Um, our morale does have some positives. We're treating Davy for his plague. Davy likes the workshop, and Judy likes the medical facilities. So 
Judy and Davy have slightly higher morale, stable and stable, than Milena, who I'm currently playing, who doesn't like the workshop or medical facility, so she doesn't get that morale boost. So you guys want me to help the bootleggers? Okay, sounds good. Will do. So he is in the church by the dig site back in Fairpoint, or Fairfield rather. Um, and it is super not that barrel chasing me. safe to go in right now, but okay. It's nighttime, it's scary, so red light for me. Oh, I should fuel up too. You can see at the top left how much fuel you're going to get. Um, so anytime you're refueling, make sure to not fuel beyond your maximum capacity or it will just use up the gas. And you won't benefit. Oh, come on. For real? Yeah, I need a repair kit. I just can't make them yet. And I won't be able to make them for 10 more minutes. There is four screamers on this bridge. Go get a job, screamers. Oh, I missed. So you know how I was saying not too long ago that I really don't, I hope that I don't have to go back north. Well, here I have to go back north to go help the bootleggers. It's fine. So I gotta go locate and rescue Hassan. It's Hassan Minaj. Uh, can I get through there without blowing up my car? Yo, can you make a way? Uh, there's a gap. Going for it! Going for it! One tap and my car starts to set fire. Two taps and it blows up. So I am very close to turning this car into a legendary sized toaster. Oh, and there's a whole swarm outside of where Hassan is. Dude, you could not have picked a worse location. Ah! Resting. All right, take one of my energy drinks so I have energy regen. Davy is um, out of the infirmary. That's good. Quick, 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 quick! Ah! I think that's a screamer right outside of the church where uh, Hassan is. Yeah, that's a screamer. Let's see if I can... Uh... Oh, it's kind of far shot from here. Without a zooming crossbow. There are hunting crossbows that allow you to give to zoom a little bit. Making long shots like that a little bit easier. If I, if I, um, if I had a lot of building materials to be able to waste, like... Yep, it's a freak. Bolts, I would try to take it, too. There we go, in the head. Yeah. All right, dude, you better be worth okay. it. No sets around, but do infestations reduce when you move no, hearts? No. No, no, no. Just hold out a little longer, all right? The infestations won't on. have plague zombies, though. So when you're in a plague you area no that is covered by a plague heart, the percentage of zombies that are plague zombies are a lot higher. That's nice. 
and Ish. regular zombies are dangerous if they swarm you or whatever, but they're probably not going to kill you. Whereas plague zombies, it really only takes two bites to turn you. Um, so the the infestations get a lot less dangerous once you've cleared the plague hearts because the zombies won't be plagued. And plague zombies are just, they're so much more dangerous than regular zombies. Regular zombies, you can get bit a whole lot before it matters. And they, they never turn you, they just bite you to death. Uh, where is the last search spot? Oh, there it is. If you fully scout a house, it will illuminate the um, the loot areas. So I'll demonstrate that the next time I'm in a home. It will show you each room, and if you go into each I'm room and fully scout the house, here. it then reveals all the remaining loot that's in there. That way you don't have to search forever. There's a mechanic to reveal it all, which is so very nice. All right, so your home is where? Oh, it's uh, the garage. Nice. That's pretty close. Getting enclaves close to your home base is really convenient because it allows you to trade with them efficiently. Whereas if I had to drive all the way across the map every time I wanted to interact with them, that'd be a lot of wasted gas. A lot of wasted gas. So can I make it out of town without Man, bumping? Coming in fast. Hi, Juggies. Hi, Juggies. Come on, have a repair kit. Have a repair kit. Soon with that workshop up and running, it won't be so much of a, a precious commodity. Oh, Low tar cigarettes. Yeah, could be worse. Oh, I'll be damned. You made it. Their skin out back can eat a little hair of the dog. Jin. Whew, that's twice today somebody saved my life. Thanks, we're setting up a still so no one has to die getting a drink. You're welcome to share once it's done. Let me know when it's ready. Alcohol is available these days. Thank you so, so much. I am going to buy your Molotovs, though, because uh, Molotovs are awesome. So here's all their, like, fermented sludge that they've been, you know, working on mixing up. And now we're friendly with them. And they're pretty close to my home base, so that's awfully convenient. Uh, yep. Casa, or whatever. Alright, what to do next? That's up to you. I'll just give you a minute to vote on that. Do a quest, scavenge, explore, or something that you suggest. Shoot, I did not mean to make these many upset. I wanted to go over to that fueling station to see if I can get a repair kit. But no such luck. What? Come, come on! Do it. Grab someone else! So rude. Be too proud. You have guns. Places like this. Scavenge. All right. I don't mind making noise because I have um, them as backup close by. So if anything goes down that's wonky, I'll just run over to them and make them clean up my mess. NPCs are not invincible. But they're very hard to kill. They're harder to kill than the player by far. To make up for the fact that they're dumb. 
Thank you for tuning in to State of Decay 2 New Haven, which originally streamed live on Twitch September 6th. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. If you would like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. If you would like to join my gaming community to take part in the community events, Rodamont.com or the description of this video have a link to Discord. Thank you so very much for watching, and a special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you that support the channel. I'll catch you next episode or an upcoming stream. Thank you, and stay safe out there in the zombie apocalypse.